All right, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to the battlefield. Once again, we are playing Napoleon Total War. Now, I know some of you guys out there might be thinking, what about NTW3? Well, I got that reinstalled. Uh, they actually came out with a patch not too long ago. It's like 9.3 now. So don't worry, those uh, NTW3 fans. I will have a lot more replays of NTW3 coming out very soon. But, you know, vanilla is awesome as well. Sure, it's not as good or whatever. But it's, 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 I don't know, it's still really awesome. Also, this battle replay is from General Cody. And when General Cody sends you an epic replay, you do not skip it all right you gotta upload it that is for sure so let's go ahead and really because this is going to pick off or pick off pick up really quickly here so we'll start with the uh we'll turn on the mini map here this is going to be the red team because they're represented by the red and then over on this side looking this way is the blue team so it's really fast the red team here we have spain i believe general cody is the spanish and he brought a bunch of skirmishing troops here which are already opening fire on the advancing uh, opposing forces and then his teammates we have two austrian armies on each flank so one here one here we have the british that are kind of in the center uh, left and then we have the rest of general cody's spanish army which is making a push to looks like to his hill uh, that he's currently standing on with his um uh, his vanguard troops over on this side we have the french who are making an extreme pivot and then with them we have the british i guess these are like loyal british to the french empire i don't i, I don't know uh and then over here more british we've got the portuguese and the ottomans working together so with those armies out of the way let's go ahead and dive into this one that's already uh picking up like crazy where the spanish general cody is continuing to put a little bit of a speed bump into the advancement of the portuguese and the ottomans and he's really trying to hold on to this hill you can see the shots are being fired and oh every time hold on look at this options we got to go to sound i put it on this every time i put it on this setting but it always takes it off uh that's the reason so if you ever play napoleon total war and you can't hear the sound or the gunfire that's why just it's really simple fix uh but yeah general cody with his vanguard troops which are not the best troops in the world what makes them good is that they can spawn outside of the of the deployment zone but they can certainly hold for a while but the clock is against them as we speak the ottomans are pushing very aggressively and look at this there's some stakes here there's some like six stakes placed down uh, by the skirmishers if I'm not mistaken we got some cab charging in from the Spanish trying to slow down I think at this point he's just trying to slow down this advance of these troops but the Ottomans are definitely making this difficult as they continue to push their uh, jetted infantry around the flank of the Spanish and then over here the French have arrived with some cav as well to push back the um the cav of spain portugal has some cav as well but the portuguese cav is not very good uh but they'll do they'll do what they need to do and then now the french are going to go for a charge for the lights and just like that this initial vanguard force is absolutely getting swallowed i guess you could say uh, and that's really the point of the Vanguard troops. You don't really expect them to hold forever. They're really there to just slow down. I think the Portuguese and the Ottoman player, uh, they they did a good job of overwhelming those skirmishers. Instead of they didn't panic and just they just pushed in and took care of them. Uh, now Cody is sending in Cav, which is really dangerous here because he's charging into a superior force. But he's actually going to go ahead and, and disengage. But I don't think he's going to get out of there in time and these lancers are gonna get chewed up pretty quickly pretty quickly uh but yeah that's that was the epic stand and look at the look at the battle formations of austria the british just forming up on that hill it looks awesome and the uh, once again ottomans are not slowing down they are not holding up or they're they're not holding back 
Uh, they are going to continue to push and bring the fight to Cobra. Or uh, bring the fight <laughs> to the Spanish, the British, and the uh, Austrians. Now, over here, I'm a little surprised by this maneuver. I don't really know why the French have decided to completely abandon this hill. Um, it's not a huge deal because if you have no one to fight, this hill doesn't really give you any kind of advantage, I guess. Uh, I guess the, the mindset here... Well, now it looks like the French are going back. I don't know. But the mindset here would, would be to outnumber... The, the armies here, four versus three, and then force this Austrian army to get off the hill and try to push from a different flank. That might be the case, though Spain has now taken control of the city in the center of the map. This is one of my favorite maps. I forgot the name of it, but it's a great map because it's got the two hills, which create a very dynamic gameplay. Like, each side has a hill, kind of. And then in the center, it's a valley, like, you know, ish. And it's a city in it, so it creates all kinds of dynamic uh, dynamic fighting. But by the looks of this, we can zoom way out. Look at that. Looks of it. Uh, looks of this. <laughs> you know, I, I'm still recovering from the flu. I got that flu mind. You know, the flu brain. I just can't communicate today. Oh, we have a general down. No way. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Guys. You remember the handful of stakes that were placed here? It was like five stakes. Just killed the general. Just killed the Ottoman general. Look at him. I don't know what I don't know if that's the general. I, I think this is the general. We could look under we could look under. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um wow. What Good or bad luck? There's still one stake that stands. A symbol. The the Ottoman Slayer. The stake. <laughs> Vlad the Impaler moment right there. Uh, so, yeah, let's go back over to this side where we do have a pretty massive line engagement. The Spanish are seeking revenge for their comrades that were slain. The vanguard forces that were killed. Uh, but they're actually going to go ahead and fall back. The British are now fighting the Portuguese. And it looks like they're also... We're going to see some British on British action here. So, uh, that'll be interesting. And then over here, I like how he's kind of using the hill to where he can fire. It's a little it's a little close. I'd probably have these guys a little bit further down. But he is using the terrain to get as many guns firing onto one position. And now we have more forces advancing forward. We got the uh, German Fusiliers joining the fight. And this is going to be such a struggle for the Ottomans as they continue to try to push uh, their enemy's position. The trees will give them some protection. It will block some shots. But nonetheless, it's going to create a little bit of an issue for them because they're going to have to go uphill. They have to, go, they have to trek quite a far distance. Uh, we'll see how that kind of progresses here. But... Things are getting really spicy in the center position. The question is, what the heck is France doing over here? What are they doing? Like, I just don't understand the logic with the French forces. Because now it looks like they're going back towards the hill they were just on. That would have given them better positioning. I, I hope he doesn't move up any further than this. But if he does, he's going to have not the high ground. <laughs> He's not going to have the high ground, so it's not going to be good. So I would have... Honestly, if I was the French, I would have set up a little bit of a rear guard. Kind of watching, like, right here where my mouse is. And then the rest of the French push in. Push into the city and try to clear out the Spanish. That's what I would do. Anyways, over on this side, uh, we have some Spanish forces that are cycling in and out. Some line infantry. We have a huge clash of cultures in the center. The British line infantry foot has been oh, melted. Only a few seconds ago, they were completely healthy. Uh, but they are feeling the might of many hundreds and hundreds of guns. And the light foot, it's up to them to kind of hold this, maintain and hold this main line. Uh, the British continue to use the hill here and fire down into the valley of this uh, mountain area. Uh, some 
Austrian forces with their beautiful white and gray trimmed uniforms look fantastic. I like the gold too in there as well. Uh, they're opening fire. The Grenzers opening fire as well onto the Ottoman position. The Ottomans are now fighting back. Uh, I'm not a fan of this formation by the Ottomans. Uh, oh wait, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it looked like two units right on top of each other. It's not. It's not. It's just a big unit. Now here's another line infantry unit right here. So let's zoom out here, get a big picture, get the bigger picture, what's going on. Uh, still, nobody's really budged, but hey, pretty good fight here by the uh, the blue team, which is the Portuguese and allies. They're actually doing a, con a decent job of doing some damage to the Spanish and the British here who have the high ground. Uh, you know, it, it, Obviously, it's going to give you a little bit of an advantage. So they're doing a pretty good job of kind of dealing with that high ground and really putting down a lot of shots. Now, that's the great thing about the high ground is that the troops aim up a little bit, so they will fire over their own men, I assume. I uh, got a big rock over here, so I wonder if these troops are firing. I don't know. I wonder if the bullets go through the rock, you know? Like, it, it might be there, but, like, physically, it's, like, tr like see-through or transparent. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but, yeah, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, the French have kind of also trenched themselves in to the city in the center. A couple units here and there. Ready to hold. Uh, Spain has kind of been a little bit more uh, defensive. They haven't pushed up too far. They got one unit over here on the far right flank. Austria has decided to abandon the hill a little bit. He's got like some old guard back here, some three elite units. But he's not pushing forward. Like, I would have pushed down this way, like this. I guess he's... I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, but Austrians are marching forward. Look at this massive line. Is this all the same unit? The Hungarian Fusiliers. It looks like, yeah, just a ton of Hungarian Fusiliers. Look at this. Woo! That's a, that's a long line of Hungarians. Uh, but yeah, he's... They, they need to get the fighting going. Right here. Let's get it going. Uh, look at this struggle over here. We do have a cav sighting here. We might be getting a cav charge. Let's see if he goes in for the kill. What is he going to go for? There is a gap. He could get these skirmishers. He is going for the skirmishers right through. The, threading the needle. And he's got it, folks. Not the greatest of charges because it's uphill. But he is going to be able to lay down the hammer. Do some damage. And he's going to keep pushing. He's going to keep pushing. He's going for lights all day, baby. He's about to turn out the lights. Get it? You get what I'm saying? Because they're light infantry lights. You know? <sighs> yes. So, great cap charge right there. Now, are they charging... Is this friendly? Okay, I, it's it's tough when there's the same factions on both, but there's two British, so it's like, are they charging or falling back? I do believe they are falling back. So the fight continues to rage on. The Ottomans still just kind of holding the valley of this hill, uh, and I think the Austrians are just going to try to hold. They're not too they're not too aggressive, unlike the Spanish and British uh, British side. Well, actually, they've both just kind of been standing their ground. Uh, but look at the casualties of... Oh, my gosh! By the British here. It's so surprising surprising to see so many of that have fallen. And now we've got the Portuguese that are a bit upset about that British cab charge. And they are going to get ready to uh, potentially pounce on the British position. But it's going to be tough because it's going to be uphill. It's going to slow down their approach. And the British are coming down to meet them with the 10th Hussars. Look at that. They got a shot off with their pistols, and now they're going in with their sabers. The Ottomans are sending in the Sipai Cav as well. That's definitely going to be a losing fight for the British. But well, maybe they're just buying time. But if they're buying time, they're not really maneuvering anything to get in position. Their lights are still in the front. 
front of the battlefield. They are moving in some infantry now, so some foot guard. Let's go back over to the other side. Okay, whoa, big city street battle right here. My goodness. The French and the Spanish. They're duking it out. French charging in the old guard. The old guard. We have uh, some fusiliers on the flank. The old guard should handle these guys, no problem. Over on this side, it's the 18th Regiment, the Brave. Another unit of fusiliers waiting in reserve for the Spanish, which they're probably going to most likely have to activate them because the old guard are charging. Now we've got the young guard as well. Following their elders into battle. Learning from them as their dreams of becoming an old guard. It may come true in this battle. Yeah, what is the requirements to be an old guard? You have to be like a certain height and also have frontline experience. Ah, that's crazy. Crazy, man. Imagine facing the old guard. Now back over here. Oh, big old Portuguese cab charge. This is pretty devastating for the Spanish forces as their army is fighting a multi-front war in the streets and on this, at this open field. And Portugal might be able to do some damage here. Uh, but here's... Oh, oh, the British have decided to fall back. Interesting. Interesting. So the way it's it's turning out to be, the way this is the, like the formations and the battle lines, the Ottomans and the Portuguese working side by side against the British and the Austrians. And then over on this side, we've got the French that are kind of storming. Yeah, the French storming the city and it's up to Spain. Now the British over here, they've got uh, some, oh, the Royal Scots Grey. Going in. Oh, man. It's so legendary. Got a poster of the Royal Scots Grey of my, uh, in my office. The classic uh, charge at Waterloo. The Scots Grey. No, no, no. Don't charge them into there. Get them out of there. Get them out of there. Yeah, they're charging into a square, but actually they're holding back two units of Portuguese Cav. And look at this. They're winning. And they're dealing with the square. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It does look like the Spanish are going to move up some infantry to support the Royal Scots Grey. The, the Portuguese are going to try to charge this infantry before they form square, but they are too late. The Scots Grey are actually going to get out of there as they've lost more than half of their units, fighting off three units at a time. The legendary Scots Grey. Now, back over on this front, the city has been mostly cleared, been cleared. No surprise there, the old guard, this is their specialty. This is where they excel. Look at them standing victoriously over the dead. The dead, the conquered dead. Uh, but yeah, they are gonna now quickly triple, triple step, a quick step, no, double step uh, into, it looks like, yeah, they're maneuvering to the flank of the Austrians over on this side. So now the French and the British stand together to take on the Austrians. This is a two versus one situation over here. Now over on this front, Spain has a handful of troops over here and they're dealing with their, tragically, they're, they're facing their Iberian brothers. You know, they're, fight, they're fighting the Portuguese here with little troops and oh, look at this. An epic cab charge of elite units. Unfortunately, the Scots Grey are probably too depleted to deal with this. I think he was just sending them in to slow them down. This unit's going to quickly form square once again. Oh, and nearly, barely pulls it off. And they're going to, oof. Wow, actually, they, they disrupted that square pretty effectively. So this might be the end of the Spanish army. 
and really all they wanted to do there is to weaken the Portuguese as much as possible to help out this this hill defense and this is going really well honestly if I if I was the Ottomans and Portuguese I would fall back why because you can use the hill against these guys because I believe that the French and the British can defeat Austria over here I think they have the advantage but France is actually taking a detour here and they're actually coming over this way to support the hill assault so this this is also another option they can do and these are elite units over here we have Fusilier of the line we've got uh, young guard we've got old guard which uh, they've got a lot of experience here uh, more uh, Fusilier you got the general so yeah, they, they're gonna kinda come in here and kinda wrap around this defensive position and hopefully that gives the Ottomans a, a uh, and Portuguese an opportunity to push from the base of this hill. Now we do have three units of Janissaries, so they do have some assorted melee infantry, which I believe they are gonna go ahead and uh, probably get into the thick of it pretty soon I, I can imagine especially with the French starting to crash in I think now is the time to full-on just push and attack and I think they see the writing on the wall here the blood they smell blood in this area here over here it looks pretty um, defendable it looks like it there you know the Austrians are holding pretty well so we'll see how this uh, this this hill battle unravels and is it official that the Spanish... No, the, the Spanish still have their general. So this is their last unit that they have to defend this hill. Which, you know, it may just be a general unit, but it, it could help. Uh, we got the, the um, lifeguards of the British. They went in for a charge there against the Portuguese as they formed square. And they've taken... They're waving the big Portuguese flag. They've taken... Not the entire hill, but a section of the hill, which is going to help the rest of the push here. Get these infantry in the thick of it. They're tired, though. How are they tired? Are they running? Looks like they've just been walking. How are they tired? I don't know, but uh, you better hope that they don't, they're not too tired. All right, back over this way. Look at this. These are two armies that just don't want to fight right now as we have uh, some Dragoons and other Cav making a, a flank here, a flank push. And they might be trying to either get behind the British or even getting behind uh, the Portuguese and the Ottomans. The French are now here as well. And I think what's going to happen here is the French are going to pin down this infantry. And then we're going to see the, the uh, sword infantry go in. But yeah, they're winded, dude. They're getting tired. How are they? They're just walking. I guess because they're walking uphill. Here comes another cab charge by the lifeguard. The French are able to form square very quickly. That's the nice thing about vanilla compared to NTW3. Every unit can pretty much form square. Now the French continue to push forward. They got the trees kind of giving them, they're screening their movement, but also giving them a little bit of cover. The young god going in for a charge. Now the Ottomans, they're trying to wrap around, get some flanking fire on the old guard. Not a, a bad decision there. I would be feeling pretty good. Oh, and they saw it. They're like quick fall back. Oof. Hey, they get to die as an old guard. A noble pursuit. Here comes uh, the young guard getting into position. Ready to open fire. There we go. Some nice firing right there from the French. We need those Ottoman swordsmen in, in here now. Look at the French are charging in with a small unit of fusiliers. Over here. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on. Portuguese moving up a ton of infantry the Ottomans still playing it cool here I think their spearhead is all right here that's why the Ottomans are sending up the uh, the swordsman this is gonna be one epic showdown one epic showdown here we go here comes a fusilier of the line pre uh, preventing 
the flanking fire. Look at that. Now they're going to open fire on these Juman, Juman? German Fusiliers. <clears throat> Here comes uh, some support. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Here comes, yeah, some cab support and some uh, grenadiers. They're actually breaking the old... The old god have broken. Yeah, not good. We need the swordsmen. And there they are. There they are. They're going in for the charge. Yes. They're going to turn these British into kebabs. Here comes a counter charge to try to slow down this crazy melee assault. This battle has gone medieval real fast. Fusiliers of the line going in for a charge. Got some young guard fighting for their lives, desperately wanting to become old guard. Fusiliers of the line fighting off the cav as well, but it's looking like this entire French flank is going to crack thanks to that cav support by the Austrians. Oh! Uh... The French general was just executed by the Janissaries. Yeah, uh, just executed by the Jeddit mounted Ottoman Empire cav. Wow, that's tragic. Ah, that's that's some devastating friendly fire and this is what it's all coming down to guys an epic melee in the center and it's looking like thanks to the british and the austrian infantry they might be able to hold back this push now let's go back over on this side really quick see how this is playing out very slowly here very slowly they're just kind of dipping their toes in the water so to speak relatively speaking to what's going on over onto this front Another general has fallen. Oh, was it? I don't know whose general that was. I think I was going to say it was the Ottoman general, but remember the Ottoman general already died. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know whose general that is, but look at that. They held back the mighty swordsman push. They held it back. They held back the French flank as well. Unbelievable. And look at this. We have some Austrian forces that were all the way over here, came down here and followed the French. And now the French can't even properly retreat as they have been cut off by the other Austrian corps. Now back over on this side, the British are starting to engage the Austrians. I think the British realize, oh, this is not good. This is not good. Maybe it's time for us to drop our guns here and rejoin the uh, British uh, Empire uh, because now the Ottomans pretty much are toast here. And I wonder, would this battle look any different if the Janissar, if the Ottoman Empire, okay, if the Ottoman general did not die? Would the swordsmen be able to fight a little bit longer? Would these troops last a little bit longer if their general was still with them? It's tough to really say for sure, but it definitely would have helped. I could say that. Uh, but yeah, the Sp hey, Spanish still in it. Spanish still in it. Defending whatever. And now, guys, now all this Austrian army has to do over here is hold keep these British forces in place because there is about to be a lot of angry Austrians and well also British people that are going to be flanking them now we can just zoom in here and witness the absolute carnage of this fight now the balance of power is in favor of the uh, red team the Austrian Austrian team but it's not so much in their favor that it's an instant win. I mean, if everything keeps going as it is, they will win this battle. But they could lose it. And really what it's going to come down to is the British doing something unbelievably amazing. 
And when I say that, what is unbelievably amazing, I would say routing this entire Austrian army without losing, like, more than two units. There's a bit of a fight over here, but it looks like it's Hungarians. Oh, Coldstream Guard just got routed. Coldstream Guard routed by the Hungarian Fusiliers. They're going to reform. Yeah, that's not a good, that's not a good sight right there. And I'm, I'm stunned that the British are not making a move right here. They have not, they need to push. They honestly, they need to push towards this army here, create a, some distance between their backs and the Austrian and other British, the opposing British armies that are soon going to be, you know, right behind them. And then we got uh, some uh, light infantry over here. Putting up their final stand of the Ottoman the Ottoman army, but through the mist and trees and long grass We have some Landschnitzen Landschnitzen Or whatever uh, they're charging in this is like a light unit. They should be able to finish them up though Oh, this poor lad is not gonna make it home so close to oh another one down so close to victory but unfortunately for them it's not enough and the British are coming over to help out. And that's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty much it for the Ottomans at that point. And now Austria and the British about to surround the British. <laughs> Here we go. And Austria, he knows it's over. He's closing in. He's closing in to uh put basically the hammer in the nails into the coffin as this seems to be uh, all done here it is uh, pretty one-sided all right guys so uh, fast forward a little bit basically the other Austrian army has arrived and uh, they are working together with the other Austrian army to kind of clean up what's left of the British respect to this British player who's doing everything he can to try to win this battle even though it is uh, pretty much futile. Um, he might be able to win on this flank over here. He can break this unit pretty quickly. I, I think he will be able to. But even if he does, it's not going to be enough here. And I'm not sure what's going on here. Why is this Austrian general so close here? I, just charge him in. Or I would send this Hungarian Fusilier unit down this way to flank. And here we go. There goes the general. So you guys want a little tip here, a little fun tip. You might already know this, but um, when you have your cav, and you, if you tell him to charge a unit, the cav will start screaming. Like, ah, and it's really loud, and sometimes it alerts the player you're charging. So what I do with cav is that I'll take the cav and click behind them and tell them to move quickly, like double click. And then once they get close to the enemy line then you click on the you click on the unit that you want to attack that way there's less of a time of them screaming and warning the player see how they're screaming right now that gives them so much time to prepare for it it's a little little sneaky fun fact you know little little tip tip you could do so at this point guys i think it's safe to say that uh there's no way the British are going to win this one. Yeah, glorious victory is soon to be yours. That is true. And uh, the... Yep, they're going to go in here with all their cab. There's just too many Austrians. Too many dang Austrians. And the British can't do anything about it. There you have it, guys. That's the battle. So, like I said, this one uh, was sent in by General Cody. His army was like a lightning in a bottle. Uh, Short-lived, but... He did enough for his team to, to get the victory. Really, I think the best moment of the battle was when the Ottomans, the French, and the Portuguese charged up that hill. And the uh, Austrians and the British held them back. So GG to all the players here. This was a lot of fun. Look at the kill spread. Literally everyone did pretty well. Like, that's pretty... Like, everyone carried their weight, which is pretty cool.
uh, and looks at, let's hear the okay, let's uh, figure out English here. <laughs> Rewind. Uh, uh, so here's the kills. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. Here's all the kills for the Spanish. Unfortunately, we can't see all the kills. So that's going to wrap it up, guys, for this battle. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, that's, you know, helps the videos. The more likes, the more YouTube pushes the videos out. And if you like this style of long videos, there's a new age on... I'm old news on YouTube nowadays where long videos are starting to die and it's all about shorts. So again, leaving likes and sharing and everything, that, that helps a ton. So truly appreciate it, guys. Glad you watch my videos. Glad I, you're, you're entertained by them and you enjoy these battles. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.